want to meet Jeff Caro? Let's see what he does. You know, you know, this you know, really? could be the man of your dreams. Yeah, maybe this is the guy that'll... Uh, <laughs> Let me see if he Does can. He have uh, <laughs> he's a mess. I won't let him near you though, because I know you're a high security type person. You're about to meet something worse than Hep C. <laughs> Are you in any uh, kind of weird sex scenes these days? I mean, like anything weird going on with you sexually? You breaking new ground there, or is it just you're just being with your husband? To be. Oh no! You know my sex scenes with girls are pretty psychotic. They are. Yeah. So you're still pretty wild. Oh yeah. You're a wild chick still. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Don't don't don't. Don't get all conservative. Now, how's she gonna be a mom? <laughs> <laughs> Break. <coughs> she's gonna be a milf. I'm gonna keep things quiet. No, she's gonna be, uh, you know, the crazy mom on the street. All right, Jeff. I'm gonna let you take a look at Jenna. I know you wanted to, and I heard you were out there crying like a baby that we don't treat you right. There you are, the old Jeff Caro again. I wasn't crying, dude. You were whining. Go ahead, Casey. Tell me what went on out there. Yeah, Jeff, you were saying that everybody's picking on you. You feel upset. Yeah. You should hang out for a little bit, all right? What's the matter? Well, I don't know. What's wrong, Jeff? Come on. I'm upset. Why are you upset? Because it ain't right the way everybody's ganging up on me. Who's ganging up on you? You have everybody that's bad mouthing me. Everybody. Nobody's bad mouthing you, Jeff. Everybody. You, Gary, the whole crew is at that bad mouth. You couldn't just be a gentleman and say, hey, I had my appearance. It's I'd always. Say, I'd say. You're the I same old generally. Jeff Caro. The same old Jeff. Oh, Howard, come on, man. Jeff, right. we're not going to be um, putting up with it. Right. Yeah, we've decided we're not putting up with it. I swear, Howard, I'm not doing nothing more. Why are you here? Yeah. You should be gone if you're not doing anything. <laughs> I told him to wait. I told him he might no, get to meet Jeff. after he... Made a, oh, after a, he whined. a scene. That's right. Robin, I was on my way to my spin class. <laughs> and he <laughs> called me back. Jeff, day. I don't want to embarrass you in front of Jenna because I know you want to take your shot at sleeping with her and, I, and I'm making you look bad. <laughs> oh, so man. go ahead. Here here she is. What I'm do you sure think? I have an excellent chance now. Yeah, well. Oh, you had an excellent chance before. I did see block you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so go ahead. Howie. There she is. Doesn't she look beautiful? Very beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Jenna, I just want to say to you. I wiped up to you more than I can even count. Wow. wow. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? She's All right. your favorite sex part. Jeff, I'm going to give you a shot at winning some money right now. You see that straight line on the floor with the tape? You walk a straight line right now, I'll give you $500, courtesy of Dimensions Home Videos Equilibrium. That's so funny, Howard. You think so? Can you do it? I don't be. think so. Oh, you don't think so? You want to give it a shot? See me fall? I don't want you to fall. I want to give you five hundred dollars if you can walk a straight line. You well, can do it. Come on, buddy. And we'd kind of like you to see like... you fall. Come on. Come on. You will. Let me see you do it. Try don't it, fall. Jeff. If you're gonna fall, don't do it. How many steps does he have to fall. take? Okay, hold I get that guarantee oh. I'm gonna fall. Hold this beer bottle, Casey. Like that that's gonna make a difference. Let's see. Keep your eye on him, Five hundred dollars, Jeff. You can't hold on to Casey. I can't do it. Though. You can't do it. I just want to go. I can't do it. All right. Okay. <laughs> right uh, you're in the right direction, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even walk though. All right, stop. You're gonna fall down. Uh, that was pretty straight. He kept one foot on the line at all times. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Yes, Gary. You know what we're talking about out in the office? Because I just we've been talking about it so much this week. Jenna, have you ever um, made love to a black guy on film? No. And why is that? I'm not into black guys. It doesn't reduce your value as a porn star. I don't think so. That's what uh, uh, what's her name? Tabitha Stevens was telling and us. Trinity. Stupid. Are you into is Tabitha drugs? stupid? Oh, stupid. They, they don't like each other. You, how come? Oh, what happened? Really? Well, you know what? I was friends with her until she tried to do like this big media blitz, saying she was going to beat my ass. Beat your ass? Yeah, you know, she wanted to fight me. Really? You want to beat her yeah. ass? <laughs> <laughs> In a Just good way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, you, so you, uh... We were going to have them so be the undercard like of a fight, I believe, right? You, we yeah. Were, and, and Jenna didn't want to do it, but they wanted to fight each other. But there was, what was it before that that got you guys angry at each other? Well, there was really nothing before that, but it, it turned into something ugly. And I'm like, don't try to ro ride my coattails. You and know? you are a fighter. She's a bitch, man. Yeah. I've, re I've read where you were in a bar and you got into a fight with a yeah, woman. Yeah, I just got in a fight on St. Patrick's Day, too. You hocked a loogie on some chick, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, why would you Jenna, have to? you're such a lady. What's well, going on? Well, those were in my younger days, Robin. I swear to God. What happened there? On the that first fight where I yeah. spit on the girl? 
Well, she walked in the club and um, she was giving me a really dirty look. Right. So I was like, what are you looking at? Right. Dumb bitch. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Thank right, right, you. Right. And she, um, she stuck her middle finger out uh -oh. right in my face. So I spit on her. And that's like my first Spit on her. I figured you just sit on it. <laughs> really put it in. So that was that fight. And what was this recent fight on St. Patrick's Day? You know, I'm trying to calm down and not fight. Because right. Because it's not ladylike, right, Robin? <laughs> right. Well, you're a strong girl. You're well built. Right. I can, I can whoop some ass, right? Right. So, it, there was a big barroom brawl, and I was trying to hide in the corner, and this girl just came running at me at 100 miles an hour. And I was like, just slow down, sweetheart, slow down. She punched me right in the eye. Oh. Wow. Punched me right in the eye. And my assistant, Linda, did the Kevin Costner. No, you didn't. And they got in a big fight. <laughs> and you jumped in. And I jumped in and I stomped her. Good for you. Wow. And then I hocked the loogie on her. Yeah. Jerry, you're on the air. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I didn't yeah. Realize. Hello. Yes, Hello. yes, Jerry, go ahead quickly. Jenna Jameson, who, of course, uh, you can check her out at clubjenna.com. That's your website where a lot of uh, action goes on. Yes. Club sure. Jenna, J-E-N-N-A. Yeah, hi. Uh, well, how, how come you won't be with the with the brother? I don't understand. Well, I think that in, you know when it comes to sexuality, you should stick to something that really turns you on. Correct. Well, I, well, well what? Are you saying what? Black skin don't turn you on? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? She's, yeah. she's That's saying she's racism. No, it's not. It's just not something that. that it's like she's not me attracted on. to certain kinds of guys, and that look doesn't turn her on. I guess. Yeah. She won't make uh, as much money. Well, what about you dumbass? Listen. What about the what about the promised land? What about you know getting to the mountaintop? You know what, dude? Thing. Dude, she's being honest. She's saying I'm she's not honest. attracted to black guys. Well, this guy's saying huh? if she was with a black guy, maybe she wouldn't like chicks so much. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what I'm saying is, I may not get there with you. I may not get there with you. Oh. Right. Right. That's guy. a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Aisha, Aisha, you're on the air. <laughs> what is wrong with that guy? Nothing is great. <laughs> he probably wouldn't like a fat chick. What can I do for you, Aisha? I just wanted to talk to Jenna. Because you know how, like, she, I guess she just enjoys sex and um, yeah. everything to her. She's in control. I have a problem where I can't. I can't climax. And I don't know if it's, I know it's not the guy. I hope it's not the guy. It might be your face. And I don't know what's going on. I want to know if she could give me some type of advice for that. Well, it's all in the concentration, really. I mean, you you need to, like, lose your inhibitions and some not chicks, worry about everything. Some chicks aren't horny. I mean, I, I'm horny, and I, I like it, but I, it just gets to the edge, and it just will not, can't, can't cross that hill, you know? You're uptight. I'm grab a dildo, ma'am. say that. <laughs> well, Jeff says grab a dildo, ma'am. It might be your face. <laughs> Rude. All right, let's go to Chauncey. One last question for Jenna. Go check her out at clubjenna.com. Hey, Howard. So I, know, I don't know if this is true or not. I've gotten this story from certain tabloid reporters who are friends of mine. I have been told that Jenna was the one responsible for actually putting out that Britney Spears story in an effort to try and become mainstream. Jen, what about you making up the whole Britney Spears thing so you could become mainstream? No. No, I didn't. Just didn't happen that way. No. She says it didn't happen that way, Chauncey. Well, I'm just getting this from the reporters who wrote the story. Right. No, that didn't happen. All right, let's well, go to my house. <laughs> hey, Chauncey, maybe it's your face. <laughs> let's go to Mike. Hey, Howard, what's up? Hey, Jen, I want to collect the 10000 that you owe me. Uh, last year I was on the show with you on a contest, and you didn't answer an easy question. And after the show... Uh, because I was all worked up by being next to you. I went home and I banged my girlfriend. I got her pregnant and we have the baby, so now I need the 10000 It's your own fault, jerk. All right, let's go to Mark. Hi, Howard. How you doing? Hi, Jenna. Hi. Uh, long time, long time fans of yours. Me and my girlfriend, we're, uh, we've always been big time fans of yours. And uh, I called a little while ago. I got a proposition for Howard. We're a very hot swinging couple, and we would be pretty much willing to come on the Howard show, do anything just to meet you. Well, who can, well, what's in that for me? Uh, what, what good does that do me? Sabrina, you're on the air. Oh, hi. Hey. Um, I just had a question for um, Jenna. Go ahead. Okay, you said you prefer you women, hey? right? Why are you getting married then? Uh, I missed the question because Jeff Carl was being annoying. <laughs> she wants to know why I'm getting married if I love women. Well, that's a real good question. I don't think you. I, I don't even have... think you've thought this through. Is I... she a lesbian? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm, 
No, I not Sabrina. Like I'm talking about Jenna Jameson's a lesbian, and I think the I having think a, she knows it. Having a guy around <laughs> might be kind of nice to pay the bills and stuff, and do all the man chores, and and but I think but it's. I, I love sex with men. Oh, you do. Yeah, I you do. like it with both. I like both. I want yeah. the best of both worlds. I don't understand the marriage. She, all right, maybe she's bisexual, but what is the percentage? To me, you know what a marriage is—a marriage. The, the way marriage was set up—if you buy into marriage, marriage is a man and a woman getting together and sort of like hanging out and saying, "You know what? I'm so in love with you. I don't want to share you I with anyone." Be exclusive to you and only yeah, you. So, and if you don't want to be exclusive, then why buy into marriage? Why would you even need that? And if you do have a kid and you want to make things kosher, so get married. But. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make any sense for you to get married. Yeah, I figure once I get married, I'm not going to be able to have sex with anybody else. Is that what you're figuring? Yeah. yeah but, you, Stop. <laughs> but let's be real. That's so stupid. You're going to give up your girlfriend? That's so stupid. I, I was contemplating that. But you haven't done it yet. Have you ever given up your girlfriend for more than a year? Mm -mm. So then what makes you think you're going to get married and all of a sudden you're going to be able to do it? Yeah, you've been engaged you know what's for funny? a long time. <laughs> what's it, funny it's just silly. In the green room, she told me, that the reason why she hasn't rushed to get married is she's waited three and a half years, they live together, so now she knows it's right, but now you're about to get married and make it not the way it is. Yeah, yeah, it seems like once people get married, it kind of ruins everything. Did you, did you ever go to a psychologist and say, listen, I have a problem, I, I'm gonna no. get married? And, no, have you ever discussed your life with a shrink or? No, only the writer of my book. <laughs> I see, and do you ever, are you afraid to go to a psychiatrist? Yeah, I'm afraid that it's gonna make things worse. If you're fro what could be worse, though, than to get married when you don't even really want to be married? You want to be with other people. You want to be with other women. Why wh Why not take a good hard look at that before you take uh, the plunge yeah, again? You know idea. what's going to happen, because this is baby fever. It is. She's going to have a baby, fever. and then she's going to want to get rid of that guy. So oh, quickly. no, I love him. You want a baby, sign a piece of paper that you won't bother me. I'll give you some, I'll give you, I'll knock you up, and then we'll and, <laughs> and go, go raise this kid. What do you want from me? But you know what? When you get into the whole shrink thing, Howard, and yeah. I don't want to bring up something sad because I don't know what the story is, but I, I heard that, like, I remember you brought your dad in here once, but mm -hmm. it, what's your relationship with him now? Oh, my, it's still the same. He's wonderful. Oh, I thought it was strained. I thought I heard that it was, like, not well, so good. Well, yeah, he had moved away. He moved to New Jersey, and I live in Scottsdale. And um, we didn't see each other very often. And there were some problems, but, you know, now everything's okay. Well, one of the problems was he was banging all your friends. Yeah, he, he's reformed now, too. Right. <laughs> but now he's single again. So oh. I'm like, and he's living in the same town. Uh -oh. I have a lot of good-looking friends. What a dumbass. Can, can I probe a little bit? What were the problems when you guys were having problems? <laughs> well, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, come on. What are the problems? Let's hear it. Mr. Jameson. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. A, a lot of the times it just seems like I'm the responsible one. I vey. Oh, always, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, and that's scary. Yeah. But um, You want a real dad. Yeah, and I, I'm always kind of the parent. A little bit. So aren't you looking to marry this guy so that you can have a parent, a real parent? I don't know. That might be... That's exactly what's going that on. That might be it, because he's very well put together and responsible. There you go. So. But I'm telling you, you should have the baby first, like Howard said. You right. think? Yeah, yeah yes. because you I are not going to stay with this guy once your hormones go down. Oh, it'll get ugly, right? Hey, let's go to... Uh, I don't know your name, but hi. Hello? Hello? Yeah, go ahead quick, because i got to take a break, and Bernie Mac's going to stop it. All right. My name's Ken. Uh, listen, Jenna. Yes. I'm, I'm in the military. I just got back from Afghanistan on a 12-month tour there. I love to spend the night with you. You you what? I would love to spend the night with you one night. And what about banging some of the soldiers who fought so <laughs> bravely? Come on, over, Jenna. Uh, Very over brave. Over Afghanistan. I need to get over... back to my country. Yeah, you really do. I think as, a, as a, the premier porn star, you should really... Choose one soldier. We to do it. Them we all. do it on the air, and you bang one of the guys. You really? I don't know if I would bang him. What would I you mean, do? Sex is so personal. How about the hand? Use the hand on him. Yeah, we'd be able to work, work that out. Think about that. I want you to go home and think about that as you contemplate what you can give back to your country. <laughs> and uh, what we would do is we would look for a soldier. One soldier who'd be lucky enough to go into the men's room over there and get hand release from Jenna Jameson. <laughs> I think. Release. I think I that will. would be. What was that? Did you go over and will. fight? Yeah, you'll go do it. You'd go over and fight for that. Oh, hey, Howard. Yeah. Can, can I escort Jeff out? He's over there farting now. Yeah, get him out of here. Okay. It's disgusting. Oh. Thank you, Jeff, very much. And you've won $500. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Jeff. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Jenna. Yeah. Have a good day. All right. All right. We'll see you later. getting this close to you. 
That's so sweet. All right. Thank He's you. Very respectful. He's very fixed. nice. Good night. Good night. Or good, good, good morning. Afternoon. Good morning. I'm okay. sorry I farted. I I'm want sorry. you to consider that. <laughs> but stuff happens. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't meeting Jenna. I gotta get through the light. What do you think about it? She's hot. Really? What would you like to do to her? Wait right there for a second, right? So if you had a chance to hang out with her, what would you like to go do with Jenna? Hello, Papa, you there, bitch. Hey, what, what is it about her that you like? Everything. How does she rank? She ranks. She ranks number one. Really? What is it about that you like? Her hair, her face, the fact she's a Everything, star? the whole, the whole package. So what was, what was some of the things? She's the hottest woman in America. What were some of the things you got to tell her? Just how much I like doing stuff. That's all. Now talk to me about when they asked you to walk the line. Yeah, that wasn't too good. Huh? Like, what were you thinking about when Howard brought that up? I was like, are you freaking crazy? I can't walk no freaking line.